Hi everyone. So it's Wednesday today and not Monday, and that is because Wednesdays are more comfortable for me than Mondays. So I decided to move my videos from Mondays to Wednesdays. And after last week, I where I haven't had a video, I thought this is the perfect time. So from now on, you're gonna get your videos on Wednesday. And yeah, I finished my last exam next Friday, and this means actually that my exchange year is kind of over. All my study program things are done. I don't have to do anything for study here anymore. I just have to write my dissertation to finish my bachelor degree, but that's it. So I'm free now. I'm my exchange experience is kind of over, and I thought this is the perfect timing to tell how it was in general. Maybe. I mean, as you might have seen throughout the last videos, it was quite a nice time. To be fair, it was an amazing time. I had an amazing time. But let's go back to the start because I still remember the day I came to London, and I was so excited. I was on the app and I was probably smiling a lot, and people would probably think, "Oh my God, what's wrong with him?" But I was just so excited, and my excitement and London didn't let me down. I had an amazing time, and I came here, and within the first two weeks, I made so so many new friends, so many new friends I don't even remember most of their names actually, because some of them I've never seen again. But would you call them friends then? Well, whatever. But it was really amazing. I was flashed by everything. I just enjoyed myself so much. I was like, this is it. This is where I belong. This is what I want to do. This is amazing. But then there's something like culture shock, and people say that if you go into an exchange or into another country for a longer time, you first are all excited because everything is new and great, and you're just excited. And then you come to the phase where you realize everything is different, and you get frustrated with things, and you don't like things. And I didn't really have that to be fair. I never had that dip down with my emotional feelings. Probably the hardest thing for me was studying. Because everything is different, yes, and studying is different too, and how we are assigned. I did a video before told you about it. It's different, and I really struggled in the beginning. I really was like, how will I ever be able to do this? It's not possible. But I obviously grew, and I kind of dealt with it, and now I'm fine, and I'm doing it, or I did it again this semester, and it's absolutely fine. I'm like, what was the problem? And I had exams as well this semester, which were. Kind of new and kind of irritating, but was great. I mean, it turned out. I mean, I think it turned out quite good, but we'll see about that. I have not my results yet. So, from a study perspective, I enjoyed it, even though it was hard. But I kind of needed a little bit of a challenge, so it was perfect. Then I had so many great opportunities, like so many things I would do here that I wasn't able to do in Germany, and I just grabbed them. Every opportunity I got, I was like, "Yes, I'm doing it. Yes, I'm." I said basically yes to everything, which was a really good decision. Everyone who goes abroad say yes to everything. If there's some, do you want to this? Yes. Do you want to do that? Yes. Especially if it's free, go for it. You learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about the city. You meet new people everywhere, and it's just makes you. Grow. That's like an advice I can give. Take opportunities as they appear. Maybe general advice. Don't stop with that ever. Just if there's something coming up, grab it by the balls and say yes, I'm gonna do it. You will not regret it. I promise. As you might see, this video is a little bit all over the place because I don't really have a plan. This is just me expressing my emotions about my exchange year. I was really happy to be in Westminster because. I have provided with so much more than I was at home because the、uh, university systems are quite different, and you can see that people pay for the university here, whereas we don't pay at home. So there's a difference in some things. I wouldn't say everything is positively better in Germany. Yeah, some things are quite superficial. You just scratch the like top of some topics, and you don't really go into deep. You don't dive deep into some things. We're just a bit different in Germany, but. All in all, I'm quite fine. I liked it. I enjoyed it.、Uh, I tried to get the most out of it, and yeah, I can't wait to come back. So everyone who wants to go abroad, who wants to see the world, do it.、Um, yes, you might get homesick at some point, which I didn't because I'm not that kind of person. 
I mean, I really appreciate going home for Christmas, for example, but I wasn't really homesick. I didn't really feel like I need to go home right now. Um, though I really missed my friends and my family, my dancing. That was something that was sometimes struck me quite hard, especially during the last weeks when my old dancing team won the German Championships. And I'm really proud, I'm really happy, but I'm like, damn, it's first year ever, I wasn't there, and then they win. So yeah, I think that's already it because I don't have any idea what I'm talking about. I hope to give you a proper video next week. If you have any ideas or any suggestions, just leave them in the comments below. I will read all the comments, I answer all the comments usually. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully I'm going to see you next week. And then have a great week. And I'm going to see you. Bye.